Oh my god, there's a book on yokai. There's, there's a whole book about yokai. Jimbocho in central Tokyo, or if my kanji reading is coming along as well as I hope, the village that protects you from death. But this area is absolutely packed full of about 300 used bookstores and monks running in sandals, uh, apparently. So this is where you come for your vintage books, this is where you come for English books, this is where you come for Japanese books to study. This area is fantastic. And for us, as English speakers, wanting some English books and not always wanting to rely on our Kindles and wanting to decorate our house with some nice books, this is where you come. So let's go check out some bookstores. This is Wanda, one of Jimbocho's more interesting bookshops. There's a cafe area upstairs, which we're sitting in now, and they do coke and glass bottles. Behind me is a pretty big selection of English American comics. There's Marvel, Image, DC, Dark Horse. As uh, I guess not anymore, but up until like two years ago, I was a big, big, big collector of. Uh, comics, mostly image. It's really awesome to see, really, really cool. If you're in Japan and you want your fix of American comics in English, these are all secondhand, but you're in Japan, so you couldn't tell. Good place to come. Oh, they've got Jeff Lemire's Plutona. This, this is a good book. Oh, how much is it? Is it secondhand? Oh my God, Japan, you're wonderful. Um, I've already read this. I think it's in my parents' house somewhere back home, but still tempting. Kyle Higgins had such a good run on Nightwing and then after that he left and he did Cowl. I haven't read Cowl. Now I can. If you're looking for English books in Japan, Kitazawa. This is the Kitazawa bookstore in Jimbocho. And it is jam-packed full of English books, as advertised. Right now, there is a new author of a Japanese children's book doing a reading to a group of kids. It's absolutely adorable. Now this is a first. I'm in a bookstore, all in Japanese, that only sells books to do with music and old magazines, music magazines. This is entirely, oh, they've got Kerrang. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. This is a bookstore dedicated to music. <laughs> I don't want to say, this is so cool. I've never seen this in any country in the world. Rainbow, rainbow. God, my dad got me into Rainbow when I was like three. I don't think I've listened to them since. <laughs> it's awesome. So if you want to see it for yourselves, this is called the Bunken Rockside. This store that sells just music magazines from the last 40 years and any books to do with music as well. It's absolutely fantastic. They're always playing some good 80s rock in there. Everything is in Japanese, but if you just want to buy it to have it and just to see it, it's fantastic. Okay, the you may know, <laughs> you may know, you may know me. The you may know secondhand bookstore upstairs, second floor has some vintage manga. We're gonna go have a look. Come for your vintage manga. 
There's some really cool stuff here. Old issues of Sean and Jump. Got a lot of Doraemon. And I have picked up these. Really cool. Don't know what they are. They're from something called Golden Comics. 50 yen each. And they're cool. Look at this. 2,000 yen. 2,000 yen, $20 US, for the complete box set of the DVD of Ashita no Jo. Okay, so that you may know, <laughs> you may know, it makes me laugh. The you may know secondhand manga place was fantastic. They had a poster, an old movie poster of Princess Mononoke for a thousand yen. And I didn't buy it and I feel stupid, but what I did get was this. We've got three of these for 50 yen each, 50 cents each. And they're double sided and they're actually old Shonen Jump covers. So this is the inside and this is the outside. All three I got from Dragon Ball and they are just fantastic. I'm so happy I got these. Okay, if you come here to Iwanami Books and you go upstairs, you will find a huge selection of beautiful pottery, fans, bookmarks, posters, postcards, and uh, any other kind of really vintage, gorgeous souvenirs that you would like. A lot of hokusai paintings, you know, the, the original Japanese waves. That's oh, fantastic, really beautiful place. So one of my favorite books of all time is Kazuo Shiguro's An Artist of the Floating World. And what I've just found, what I imagine to be one of the posters that the uh, protagonist of the book would have been drawing during World War II. And you can buy this for 10,000 yen. It's quite expensive. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> it's amazing. Look at this, look. Even more, look. Imperial World War II Japanese propaganda posters. Oh my god, these are incredible. All right, this is the crown jewel of the bookstores here. This is called Sanseido. On the ground floor are just the most lovely Japanese stationery and ornaments and anything for your house that you could want. I'm going a bit nuts here. There's Daruma, Fuji, little different toys of Fuji. It's blankets and uh, cats. There's cats everywhere. So many different little cats. Just, just cats. Japan loves cats. Every other book that you read set in Japan by a Japanese author has cats in it. And uh, so do the bookshops. Sanseido Books actually has t-shirts. I want this one. Sanseido also has an English section. And right now, their number one bestseller, which I'm very happy about, is Yuval Harari's 21 Lessons. Oh my god, I love this book, but it did make me a little sad. <laughs> Okay, so the English section has an absolutely massive area focused just on Japan. There are manga, not very many, and all just number ones of things like One Punch Man, One Piece, Tokyo Ghoul, but they also have this incredible section here on an amazing amount of Japanese authors. There's Kenzaburo Oe, Yukio Mishima, uh, Haruki Murakami, Ryu Murakami, and Yoko Ogawa, I could go on and on and on. There's so many great Japanese authors here. You have to come check this out. They're a little bit pricey, but so many of these authors, even in English, are not on Kindle. So you have to come to a place like this, and why wouldn't you? And the covers are really pretty too. There is so much here. There are Japanese history books, there are Japanese art books, the history of geisha, the history of kabuki, and I found this. I've wanted a book like this for the longest time. This is a collection of Japanese traditional folk tales, and on the left page they're written in English, and on the right page they're written in Japanese. Fantastic book for language learners. Yes, I am picking this up. Oh my god, there's a book on yokai. There's, there's a whole book about yokai. We have spent all day on this street. We were in Sansei do Honya so long, it's now nighttime. This area is fantastic, a book lover's paradise. So my hometown back in the UK is a 20 minute drive from Hay on Wye, one of the best places in England. Actually it's in Wales, Jess is gonna kill me for saying this in England. But it's, uh, this, this area is like Hay on Wye in Japan. I love it. 
please, please come here. Check out all the manga, check out all the beautiful stationery shops, check out all the English books, and there is a lovely little udon place called Hanamaru, which is really worth checking out. That's like halfway down the street, that's where we had our lunch. This place is awesome. Come here, love it.